Now the Democrats are politicizing the coronavirus. I've spoken actually with my son. He says, how bad is this? It's bad. My administration is recommending that all Americans, including the young and healthy, avoid gathering in groups of more than 10 people. This is the true story of an unspecified amount of people forced to live in a house under quarantine and have their lives taped to find out what happens when people are scared and bored to death and start getting real. The real world, quarantini. Come on, get your, get your rump rump in here. My bad, it was a little, it was a little too much yeah, for you. Kinda, it kinda hurt my back. Yeah, okay. I got your walker. Remember that one time we were talking about the club? I know. Mm. I just got really excited. I'm excited to come in. That Britney, that Britney gal. Oh, she uh, ghosted? What you kept asking for more. I know. So. Ma! Yeah, I did. I think it scared her a little bit. Well, um, well, we got shoved into this space. Confessional space. Some girl named Steph was like, "You need to go talk to that." So. I think it was Samantha. Samantha, okay, some, some, some girl named Samantha was like, you need to come talk to a camera, so. Really, like. And, uh, yeah, she was a lot. Mm. I don't know, that Ashley, though, she was, she's a stand-up. I think it's Alicia. Alicia's a stand-up, mm. stand-up mm. chick. I need to clean my hearing aids out. So, um, did, um, did you bring them? Well, yeah. No, I got evicted. Mm. Mm. I had to push out a kidney stone. Um. Oh, I'm like, wait, introduce yourself. Hmm. What? Introd Did you fall asleep again? Mm. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Norman. I'm Willard. Well, I mean, I guess we're just gonna, I don't know, like, I, I think everybody in the house is pretty cool, but I don't know what these kids are doing to occupy their time. Mm, there's that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, um... Yeah, like, what is your name? Yeah, but, like, we're, like, out of wine, and that's kind of the problem, you know? <laughs> no, like, it's fine. The bright horse. The no, horse thing. I thought that thing doesn't even move. Mm -hmm. Doesn't move. Mm -hmm. Dressed dapper. I mean, we're kind of we're kind of used to doing absolutely nothing because mm. you know mm -hmm. we're in a home most of the mm -hmm. time, other than writing letters and picking at each other's scalp conditions, and you know, but that's fine. Throwing tennis balls. So for now, while they're out being crazy, we're just gonna do what we do best. But that's the problem, is they are not out. They are in. We are all in. This. Like the sweat on together. my chest. It's all in there. Stop wearing that stupid wool. Mm. Well, I'm good for now. Well, let's hope none of them are carrying the coronavirus, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, my granddaughter was saying something about being out of school for the next indefinite period, so I really hope I don't see her for a minute. Well, this might be the end, so... I'd be fine. And, uh, I'd be fine. Yeah, me too. Well, let's go have some fun then! Well, no, we gotta, we gotta tell them! Well, what what we're, we're gonna do? Hmm. I think it's better if we show them. Hmm. Hmm. Let go.
Taco Bell, I'm gonna do a board. Are you rolling? <laughs> Let's get it. I mean, like, you did it, and we're fine. This might be the first time I laughed. I'm glad that you could help me through that. We're best friends, I told you. It's finally happened. It's like we had one pinky, pinky promise, and then, like, next thing you know, we're going to have matching tents. Absolutely not. Just think about it. I would get a matching tent. Oh, my God. It could be literally a martini glass. Like, quarantini. Okay. Uh, it's my turn. Wow. <laughs> we are going places. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're gone. We're moving. You, we you are got moving. Space. Yep. <laughs> Hey, best friend. How, how do I you- I think I broke my arm. How do you feel, best friend? I think my arm's broken. Oh my God, you're fine. Do you wanna like, just no. cramp yourself and, and you're still being filmed right now? It's almost as bad as when you were sleeping. Oh. Well, it's the first time I've laughed in a minute, so all in all, I think that was worth it. Tune in tomorrow for the next episode of The Real World, Quarantini. Hey, uh, thanks for watching The Real World, Quarantini, episode three. And uh, if you guys wanna keep watching Stays Be Stupid, make sure you go back and watch episodes one and two and stay tuned for more episodes coming this week.